In this video I want to talk about a variable scope. Scope means the parts of a program where a variable can be used. So in this video I'm going to show you um, a simple function and we're going to look at where we can use the variables that are used by that function. And where can we use the variables that are outside of the function? So let's have a look at this function. What we've got is a function is going to calculate the area. And these are the two parameters, length and width. And we're going to send the variables, the length and the width, to these parameters, which will then use those values to calculate and return the area. Now to make the program simple, I've just assigned the value 10 to the length variable, 20 to the, the width variable, and then I send those two variables to the calc area function, where they're received into the parameters, which, in, which then are used to calculate the area which is returned. The value returned is then assigned to the area in the main program and then printed out. So let's just see this program run. So let's select run, run module, and there it is. No surprises there, it calculates the area as 200, which is 20 times 10. Right, now I want to talk about the scope of the variables. Now here, in black we can see the variables. We have variables, the length, the width, the area, and parameters are variables that are used within a function definition. So when we run this code, we're using variables which are in the main program, those are known as global variables, and the variables that are used within a function definition are called local variables. Now, here I've got a local variable. It's used, it's assigned a value for the first time within a function definition. So let's see what happens if I try to print this variable in my main program. So let's try to print area in the main program. Now area is first assigned a value within a function definition. Now that means it's a local variable and local variables can only be used inside of the function where they are first assigned a value. So if I try to access the variable area in the main part of the program this variable will not be defined, it will not be usable in the main program because it was first created in a function definition. So when we attempt to run this code you'll see what happens that area is not defined in the location that we're trying to use it. Area is defined in the function calc area but it's not available to be used outside of that function. In the same way, we cannot try to access length or width outside of the function where they are defined. So let's show that. I'm going to try to access the variable length outside of its function definition. And you'll see the same problem occurs, that length is not defined in the part of the program where we're trying to use it. So length width, area, these can only be used inside of this function definition. Now, if we look at the reverse situation, can we use this variable inside of this function definition? Well, the answer to that question is yes. This is known as a global variable. It can be used in the main program, it can be used in any function. In fact, it can be used anywhere. Global means it can be used anywhere. It's got global scope. So if I try to print this, the value of this, inside of this function definition, this time it will be available. And let's try to print the length 
inside of the function definition and you'll see that it will print the length. Now the length has got a value of 10 so when it prints you'll see the the first thing that's going to be printed here is the value of 10 within the function definition. So let's run this and you'll see the value of 10 is the first thing that's printed and that's from this position here within the function definition. So these variables that are used for the first time within the main program, not within any function definition, these are known as uh, global variables, but variables that are available or made available for the first time or assigned a value for the first time within a function definition, those are known as local variables, and that includes the parameters so the length, the width, the area, these are all local parameters, uh, sorry, local variables. But any variable that's assigned a value for the first time outside of a function definition, these are global variables. They have global scope, which means they can be used anywhere in your code. So if I try to access the width inside of the function definition. This will also be allowed because the width is a global variable. And there you can see we can access the value of the width which is 20 within the function definition. Now let's remove this one and now try to print uh, width outside of the function definition. Now remember width is a parameter, a parameter is a local variable within the function definition so it's, it can only be used, it can only be accessed within the function definition. If I try to access this variable outside of this function definition then this variable will be not defined in the area where I'm trying to use it and you can see that here. Width is not defined and that's because width is a local variable to the calc area function. So I will remove that. So that's a brief introduction to local and global scope. Remember scope simply means the parts of a program where a variable can be used and global scope means a variable can be used everywhere in your program and a variable has local scope if it's a parameter of a function or a variable that is first used, it's first assigned a value within a function definition and so you need to be aware of that when you're using functions and be aware of the fact also that you could use the same variable name for your parameters and your arguments. So here I'm using the same variable name for the arguments that are sent to the function. Now you can do this uh, but bear in mind that your arguments are actually stored in different uh, areas of memory to the parameters. So basically Python considers them as unique different uh, variables. So this program will still run, everything will look the same, And but to avoid confusion it's probably better to use different names for your arguments that are sent to the function. So here that way we can be clear of which values are sent to which variables and it simply makes, oh, I've got an area there. So the width, the length, oh, spelled it wrong there. And that gave me an error because I spent, spelled my variable name incorrectly. And there you go. So even though you can use the same name for your arguments as your parameters, it's probably a good idea to use different names 
for your arguments that are sent to your parameters. And I'll leave it at that point.